from Bathtub Brizzy. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly how I uh, program the updated controller on the, the Brew Devil and what steps I use. Right. Start by switching on the PCB switch. That'll bring on to the controller. Um, I'm going to use auto mode here, so press the auto pause button. That'll bring up. And the first thing I'm going to do is set my temperature. So press the temp button. I'm going to have a 66 degree mashing. So we set that 66. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to leave the power on full power. I'm going to drop the timer right down to one minute. Now what that's going to do is bring the temperature, the walk temperature up as quickly as possible. And then for the actual mash, so next step we'll press auto again, take on the step two. Drop my temp back down. Sixty-six timer. We're going to have a sixty-minute mash. Now the power. This time, I'm going to drop that right the way down to four hundred. I just want that on just to maintain the temperature in the mash. Step three. This time, power, full power, timer, one minute again, and temp, I'm going to bring that down to 76 for a mash out. And again, it's just one minute to bring it up to temp. Next step, we'll have the uh, mash up for 10 minutes, so just make the alterations to that. Time up, 10 minutes. And power for that, we'll take it down to about 1500. After that, take it to the boil. So, full power is not needed for that. But we'll just get it up to temperature. So, again, one minute. And temp, take it to boiling. Actually, don't take it up to boil and take it up to 99.5. I think you're only allowed one boil step on here. Next step. And then for the power on this, normally find around 2000s. It's a nice roll and boil without going mad. Okay, so next up we're going to program in the hop additions. So once we've done the boil step, press the start button, come up with hops. So it's already sharing a 30 minute addition, which I want. So I'll leave that there, otherwise you'd just up and down. If you've got any further additions to make, you press the timer button. And then we've got a 10 minute. Ooh, way too far. And so on, programming in all your hop additions. And when you're ready to start, 
the boil, or the mash process, should I say. Just press the start button. So one of the functions of the new update controller is the function to memory function to store uh, recipes in it in previously. So after entering all your steps in, if you press the start stop button, so you get all the way back to a blank screen. Press the manual button, and then long press the manual button for five seconds. You know, that little ringing sound tells you that you've recorded the, the steps that are in it. And now, if you switch off the machine, switch it back on again. Press the auto button, and as you can see, the first step of the last program that you put in will be shown on the display. Press the start button, and away you go. Now if you want to choose from your previously saved recipes when you first switch on the machine, you simply press the power and the timer button together. Hold that for 5 seconds. And as you can see, we've got recipe 3 on here at the moment. We can either take that down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. Once you've got to the recipe you want, simply press start and then either auto pause to edit, make changes to the save recipe or start to start working the way through the program. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions Put them on the comments below. Thanks for watching. Happy brewing.